The Owl and the Pussycat is no longer a story for children. What's the matter? You expecting company? This happens to be a very expensive creation, you know. I had to send away for it. Did it come in a plain brown wrapper? It's one of my modeling outfits. For whom do you model? The Boston Strangler? Listen, Mr. Sherman, if you're nice, I'll let you try it on sometime. All right, let's get one thing straight, Doris. How'd you know my name? It's written there. <gasps> Who gave you permission to read my panties? Why are you doing this to me? Get it together. See what you could see right now. Oh, 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 Yes, Doctor. And you got very high, and now you've come down real hard. That could be very depressing. See what I mean? Listen, the first time I got stoned, I came down so hard, I didn't even feel like a human being afterwards. I felt like some kind of cockroach or something. Kafka? Yeah, like a Kafka. Oh, baby, I am coming on. Oh, do that some more. Do that some more. Oh, come on, baby. No, let me do it. Let me do it. I'm used to this sort of thing. Don't point down. Oh, attaboy, attaboy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What about last night? What about last night? When we made love, wasn't that good for you? You've got your terminology confused, Doris. That was not making love. Well, whatever it was, it beat the hell out of drying the dishes. Mrs. Weaverhouse, this is Doris Wellington, a friend of mine. Uh, I am Mrs. Weaverhouse. Mother, my bed is broken. And I... Ann Weaverhouse, I'd like you to meet Doris Washington. Hello, Mr. Weaverhouse. What's going on? Mr. Weaverhouse. Oh, 